the House will again vote on Thursday on punishing one of their own, this time targeting Democratic Representative Jamal Bowman for triggering a fire alarm in one of the U.S. Capitol office buildings in September when the chamber was in session. If the Republican censure resolution passes, the prominent progressive will become the third Democratic House member to be admonished this year through the process, which is a punishment one step below expulsion from the House, it's painfully obvious to myself my colleagues and the American people that the Republican Party is deeply unserious and unable to legislate, Bowman said on Wednesday as he defended himself during floor debate, their censure resolution against me today continues to demonstrate their inability to govern and serve the American people. He added that he's since taken accountability for his actions. No matter the result of the censure vote tomorrow, my constituents know I will always continue to fight for them, he said. Save the party. Well, we save, save America. The country, save the society. children. Save the Do country. something about guns. Right. Come on. Order. Invest in education. The, the, the border is the border is what Trump left. What are you talking about? Where are the migrants? What kids? You guys We're lost accepting them. them. We love no, them. We love the There's migrant children. We be lost them. You can't find them. What, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah, migrant children missing. No, no, we don't know the news. Uh, I don't know. That's exactly Fox News. That's Fox News. Listen, I need you to save the party. <laughs> save the party. <laughs> you know, again, it's a it's a culture war document. It's more focused on um, attacking trans people and black people and women and DEI and so-called wokeism. Uh, unfortunately, that's what they're all about. It's also, again, our military budget is out of control. We already spend more than, than the next 10 countries combined. And we need to really look at, okay, what keeps us safe? How do we advance diplomacy around the world? And how do we invest in the American people so that we, they have uh, a living wage, adequate housing, affordable childcare, and quality education? So that's what I hope we can focus on going forward.